my beautiful Nicolettes, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new, and if you are new, before you leave, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below to become a part of the family for new videos from me. But today's video is going to be a baking soda beauty hack. So you could do a ton of things with baking soda. So I wanted to share with you all the beauty hacks that you can do with just some plain, oh, oh that's the back of it, okay. This is the front. It's some plain old baking soda. And I've done so many life hack videos like this. I've done one on toothpaste, lemon, coconut hacks, you name it. I'll have it down below for you. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the beauty hack. So like I said, you can do so many things with baking soda and I'm gonna share with you a ton of beauty hacks that you can do with it. To start off, for most of these beauty hacks, all you're going to need is one tablespoon of baking soda and then one tablespoon of water put that into a small bowl and then you're just going to mix it all together until it is a paste consistency before I share all my baking soda beauty hacks as always I always recommend test patching so make sure you test patch on your skin because all our skins are different just to be safe that your skin doesn't react to anything but all of these beauty hacks work really well on my skin and I do have very sensitive skin the first beauty hack is baking soda is really great great for getting rid of any pimples. Ditch those over-the-counter acne products and use a baking soda to help clear your skin. So you're just going to take that paste and apply it onto your pimples with a q-tip. All you have to do is wait until the paste dries completely and starts to flake off and then you can wash off with some warm water. Just make sure you follow up with a good moisturizer. Hack number two is baking soda can also be used as a facial scrub. So baking soda and water forms a natural gentle exfoliator for the entire face. So all you have to do is gently massage the paste into your face in circular motions for around 10 to 20 seconds before rinsing with warm water. This will really exfoliate your skin and it's gonna keep your skin feeling so soft and smooth after. If you wanna make a quick face mask, just add a tablespoon of coconut oil into your baking soda, and you could use this as a face mask. Once I mixed the mixture into a bowl, I just applied it all over my face, of course, avoiding your eyes, and the coconut oil and the baking soda are really going to help remove impurities and also make your skin smooth. Once I applied it onto my face, I just let it sit for 10 minutes before I removed it with warm water. I actually did a couple of videos on DIY face masks, so if you haven't seen those, I will link those down below for you to check out. Baking soda is also really great to use to clean your hairbrushes. So I just took my paste of baking soda and water and used a new toothbrush and scrubbed it within my hairbrush. And as you could tell, it really cleaned my hairbrush completely. This is really going to help get rid of any of the built up hair products left in there and dirt left in there. And it is really essential to also clean your hairbrushes regularly. I feel like a lot of us forget to do this, but this is super quick and easy to do and it gets the job done so well so I definitely recommend cleaning your hairbrushes with some baking soda. Baking soda is also a great cuticle cleaner. So in order to maintain your cuticles, all you have to do is take your baking soda and some warm water and scrub that paste all over your cuticles. And this is really going to help exfoliate those dead skin cells. And it is also going to make your hands softer. So this is also really great to use during the colder months when we are super dry. Once you are done scrubbing the paste all over your cuticles, I just took some warm water water and rinsed it all off you're going to notice it looks so much better and your hands are also that much softer this next beauty hack is great for exfoliating the lips and also to help lighten any dark spots on your lips. So all you have to do is take one teaspoon baking soda and one teaspoon honey, put it into a little bowl. Then you're just going to mix it all together, of course, until it makes a paste consistency. And then you are going to apply this paste onto your lips. So I just applied it onto my lips, gently rubbing it in a circular motion for about two minutes. The honey and baking soda are really going to help 
help get rid of the dead skin cells and also to help naturally lighten the color of your lips. And once I applied the mixture for two minutes, I just took some warm water on a little towel and just kind of rubbed it off. And this is really going to also help get rid of any flakes on your lips and it's going to make it completely smooth and get rid of any of that dead skin that is on it. If you're ever in a situation where your breath smells, you can actually use baking soda as a mouthwash. All you have to do is put about one teaspoon of baking soda into a small glass. Then you're just going to swirl it around in your mouth and then spit it out and rinse. And this is really going to help for neutralizing odor in your mouth. Baking soda is super great when it comes to odors as well. Not only is it great as a mouthwash, but you can also use baking soda to help whiten your teeth. And all you have to do is take baking soda and water and just rub that onto your teeth for about two minutes before you rinse it completely off. And if you do this over time, you're going to notice a difference in your teeth. They are going to appear much more white. A lot of teeth whitening products actually have baking soda in it. So it's a really great key ingredient when it comes to whitening our teeth. This next hack is a fake tan remover and this is perfect for those times when you screw up your fake tan and your hands or your feet look orange and just a mess. So you can actually take a paste of water and baking soda and just scrub your hands together or wherever you want to get rid of the fake tan. Do this for about two minutes and then you can go ahead and wash it off with soap. And this is really going to help get rid of any fake tan that you have that you want to get rid of because maybe it just doesn't look good or your fake tan is fading and you want it off more quickly, then definitely try this hack out. If you ever run out of dry shampoo or maybe you just don't have any, you can actually use baking soda as a substitute for dry shampoo. So all you have to do is just sprinkle a little bit at the root and then you're just going to massage it in and baking soda really acts as an oil absorbing substance. It's going to keep your scalp looking clean and as well as shine free. And this last beauty hack, you can actually use baking soda to help get rid of those odors. It's really going to help neutralize the odors and you could use it as a natural deodorant. In a lot of natural deodorants, one of the main ingredients is baking sodas and it's just a really great thing to use, especially maybe if you run out of your deodorant and you don't have anything, this is a great thing to have on hand. That is all for the video. I hope you guys learned something new. Thumbs it up if you liked it and want more videos like this. And before you leave, make sure you click the subscribe button so you're part of the family because I do upload every Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!